من خير في اتباع من سلف وكل شر في ابتداء كن سلفيا على سلفيا على الجادة من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة Respected brothers and sisters We want to inshallah ta'ala remind us Remind ourselves Of taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala My brothers and sisters For our own safety For the success in this dunya and the next is that we must have luzum. We must adhere to being pious and being God conscious. A taqwa, as the ulama have defined, like Talq ibn Habib. Talq ibn Habib, he mentioned a taqwa and ta'amala bi ta'atillahi. Taqwa is that you act upon the act upon the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and conform to his commands. Ala nurin min al min Allahi due to a light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whereby you want the reward of Allah and that you stay away from the disobedience of Allah. Out of a light from Allah, fearing the fire of Allah. Yani exact opposite. That's the definition of a taqwa. You are conscious, you keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart in all cases. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala حَيْثُ مَا كُنْتْ No matter where you are. Fear Allah in regards to your dealings. Fear Allah in regards to being a father. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in regards to being a mother. Fear Allah as a child. Fear Allah in, rela in relation to your parents. Fear Allah in relation to your neighbors. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in re relation to the book and the sunnah. Fear Allah in all cases. Fear Allah in geographical places too, fear Allah in Saudi, fear Allah in Masr, fear Allah in Somal, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Pakistan, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Britain, East London, North London. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't disappear if you catch a plane. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the same Allah yesterday, is the same Allah today. Fattakullaha mastata'atum ikhwani. A reminder to myself and you all, Wallahi al-Azim. If you have no taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, that for the person who doesn't have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned, that, fasna' ma shit. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Illam tastahi, fasna' ma shit. If you don't have no, yani haya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he's watching you. Doesn't matter if you're in your, your room and you locked your door. Doesn't matter if you have a password on your phone. That no one can access. Doesn't matter if you delete your history in your browser. Doesn't matter whatever you look at. Doesn't matter if you made a comment on YouTube, you made a comment on Twitter 20 years ago. Allah Ta'ala, my brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Iraq. And it doesn't mean your seclusion means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has left out. وَإِذَا مَا خَلَوْتَ إِذَا مَا خَلَوْتَ بِرِيبَةٍ فِي ظُلْمَةٍ وَالنَّفْسُ دَاعِيَةٌ إِلَى الطُّغْيَانِ فَاسْتَحِي النَّظَرَ الْإِلَهِ وَقُلْ لَهَا إِنَّ الَّذِي خَلَقَ الظَّلَامَ يَرَانِي الله أكبر Scary lines of poetry. If you seclude yourself 
with a desire to sin. With that passion, that burning desire to sin. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us. And you say to yourself or you think, when your soul is calling you to sin, 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 sin. Along with the help of the shaitan. The soul inclines to evil. And then the shaitan further whispers. And then the bad friends further corrupt. And then the society further pushes you. Wallahi, you are, if that's your case, you are packed with all the ingredients for a disaster, religious disaster. So your soul is banging hard on your chest, beating to sin. No one can see you. Be shy of the, the sight of Allah. And say to this soul of yours, the one who created the darkness can see me. Allahu Akbar, where can you hide? Where? Find us a place we can all hide. We'll go there. You cannot hide from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Find a place where you can get away with the sin. Find it. You won't find it. Allah Azza wa Jalla sees everything. He knows that which is in chest, in the chest. He knows everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, you can't escape the knowledge of Allah. That alone should be enough for us to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But unfortunately, we let our tongues loose. We say whatever we want to say, kana, as if there's no qiyamah. As if you're not going to be held. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, inna rajula, verily in a man, he will say a word. He won't pay attention to this word. biha. He will fall due to it. The depths which is further than between what's between the east and the west into the hellfire. He will say a kalima. But a person who has taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yaksha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah, Allah azza wa jalla, he said, Wattaqullaha. Fear Allah. Then look at what Allah attaches to the verse. Whenever you want to look at the names and attributes of Allah, and this is, the, this is why Tawheed is the utmost important thing. Tawheed, Tawheed. Everything you want to do, make sure you have ikhlas lillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it's your buying, marrying, divorcing. People divorce, they don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just because you're exiting a relationship doesn't mean you're not going to be held accountable. People exit upon the worst of ways, turn to enemies. The man and the woman that once loved each other, turn to enemies. Wallahi, harsh, cutthroat, cutthroat, so harsh in divorce. La yattaqillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She doesn't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you might be leaving that man, but you're still going to be held accountable for what you do. Using the, the kuffar system against him. Which is a topic in and of itself. Tama wallahi, big problem. Using the kuffar system against a Muslim. Nasallah salamatu wal Yani, he said, and that's why, that's why I was mentioning to him, he says, What taqullah, inna Allah alimun bi that is sudur. Fear Allah? Why? To tell you how close Allah is, He knows that which is in the soul. He knows what you're thinking right now in this majlis. He knows what I'm about to say right now, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing is hidden from him, subhanAllah. He's a supreme being. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. That's who created us. The one who created us is all powerful. So you know Allah Azza wa Jalla by his names and attributes. It will help you to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wallahu alam. Alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Nabi Muhammad. Wallahi, this is a scary topic. Li'anna, the reason is, anybody can deliver a khutbah and scream like I am right now. But not everyone can have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all ask Allah to forgive us and make us people who act upon that which they preach. But that is the most scariest thing. Some of the people, they look at a, a khatib like, MashaAllah khatib. Wallahi, is deadly. Because you're going to be held accountable if you don't do what you tell the people. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi prophesied and told us about some people who will be punished. They're the people. They will be punished because they used to tell the people things and they never used to do it themselves. Standing on this member is a scary situation. 
We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us and help us to act upon that which we preach. From the ways of fear, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is luzumu manhaj is salif is salih. By withholding on to the manhaj of those who fear Allah the best. The salaf, the righteous predecessors. The righteous predecessors from the head of them being a sahaba. And then the tabi'un, those who follow the sahaba. And then the atb tabi'un, those who follow those who follow the sahaba. Why? The Prophet sallallahu said, khayru qurun qarni. The best of generations is my generation. Allahu Akbar. Those who fought with him, stood side by side with him, took the wounds and the daggers and the swords and the arrows to their chest. Some of them had hardly any space in their body except there was a wound and a gash. Then those who followed them and took, took the knowledge from them, traveled destinations, stayed the nights and all the, all the nights and the days learning. And then the generation after them who also took from them. So Al-Qarn, a generation, is roughly the hundred years. So the first 300 years, the ulama, they say. Within that, was nearly all of the names you're all familiar with. Bukhari, Muslim, Ishaq ibn Rahawai, Imam Ahmed, Imam Shafi'i, Abu Hanifa, Malik, Allahu Akbar, Abu Dawood, and Al-Awza'i, Al-Thawri, Hassan al-Basri, Muhammad ibn Sirin, illustrious names. These are the righteous generations. So you're kun salafiyan, my brothers and sisters. Be a salafi, follow them. And the ya is ya un nisbah. Don't be frightened of what people say online. Try to discard the name. Ismul musamma. That's what it is. It's a name for the thing being named. That's what it is. The ya is ya un nisbah, my brothers and sisters. It's nothing hard to understand. This is the ya of attribution. You follow the salaf, you bring the ya, you are salafi. You follow Imam Malik, you are maliki. You follow Imam Shafi'i, you are Shafi'i, Hanbali, Hakada. There's no problem when we put the ya with the madhahib, al fiqhiya But there's an issue when we put the ya to the madhab, al aqida or sunnah. Don't say Salafi, it divides the people. It's a description. And no, Sheikh Al Albani was not the first to come up with that. Masakin, wallah. I think Sheikh Al Albani was the first to come up with the word Salafi. Imam, Imam al-Dhahabi, he described the scholars and he said from that which a scholar should be and he mentioned taqiyan, nahwiyan and then from them he said salafiyan, he should be a salafi. What does that mean? Adhers to the sahaba and not by name, yes, because there are many claimants. Kullun yadda'i waslam bi layla wa layla la tuqirruhum bi dhaka as the poet said. Everybody lays claim to layla but layla doesn't acknowledge none of them. Just like everybody lays claim to try and be a Muslim, they pretend to be Muslim or they claim they're Muslim, yet they come with even worse deeds than a kafir. Hakada, you find some people that claim to be Salafi. Ya subhanallah, you amiluna ka ka'anna ka kafir. They will treat you as if you're a kafir. Leave them, put them to the side. And we're talking about the manhaj here, not the followers. So stick to that manhaj and be a Salafi. Truthful. Be a follower of the Sahaba. Be a follower of the Tabi'in. You can't go wrong. Qul ma qalu. Say that which they said. Give haythu waqaf al qawm. Stop where the people have stopped. Let it be sufficient for you. That was sufficient for them. It's not hard. And stay away from the mubtadi'a, those who go against the salaf. This is taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is from the best ways to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're the best qawm. Everybody needs a leader. Everybody needs a leader. This, this maskin, his leader is a celeb. This one, his leader is some saint that he worships and kisses his feet. Allah, sa Allah saved us, including you brothers and sisters in this majlis. Allah saved you from so much mashakil. Imagine, say, say alhamdulillah, because you haven't, been, you haven't been put to test and going to a saint and kissing his feet. And dancing around him. And screaming Allahu, Allahu. Or whipping yourself. Allah made you Ahlul Sunnah, Salafiyun. Allah made you people followers of the companions. Qawlan wa amalan. In word and statement, truthful. 
But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that from us. Amma the one who tr says he is, the name doesn't benefit. Anybody can claim what they want. But we have to see action. Are you, do you have good akhlaq? Do you have, from the top of that, do you have good aqeedah? Because the akhlaq is two. Akhlaq, khuluq ma'allah, you have a good character with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, aqeedatak, that which you believe about Allah. And then your akhlaq with the creation. And as some people, they bring forth before aqeedah and before telling people to correct their understanding and their methodology, they bring forth akhlaq first. Well, first, you're meant to tell the person the correct path. In terms of faith, because that's akhlaq is forgivable. But if you die upon a kufr shirk, that's a mash mashakir, that's a mushkil. And which this is what the Salafi call it tries to save you from being the most important thing eternally put into the fire. That's the most important thing. You save them from being internally put into the fire. We don't concentrate more on saving them from perhaps being punished or not, depending on whether Allah forgives them, because the one who dies upon drugs, alcohol, the muwahid. Maybe he'll be forgiven. The one who dies upon shit as eternal. So that is the way to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala following the salaf. Ibn, Ibn al-Qayyim, he says, he said, Ya man yuridu najatahu yawm al-hisabi min al-jahimi wa mawqif al-nirani. He says, oh you who want save, to be saved Yom al-Hisab, the day of accountability, having taqwa, to be saved on the day of accountability. Min al-Jahim wa mawqidin nirani. From the fire. He says, Itba' Rasulullah fi al-aqwali wa al-a'mali la takhruj an al-Qur'ani wa khudhi al-sahihayn al-ladhayni huma li'aqdi al-dini wal-imani wa sitatani wa qra'ahuma ba'da tajarrudi min hawin wa ta'assubin wa hamiyat al-shaytani. He said, Follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam In actions and deeds Many people you find them on social media Unfortunately my brothers This is the mashakil we're living in today Wallahi we have our own problems That Allah Azza wa Jal tests us with And then you see the situation of the Ummah You cannot help but to cry and be sad You cannot help but to be cry and be sad لأن ذائنا مشكلة والله في حيرة confusion Allahu Akbar now, the shabab have been followed. The elders have been left. Someone even younger than me. I'm mid-30s. I'm a maskeen. Someone younger than me now is a leader. Where did this come from? Except jahal. And that's what one of the salafs said. Things will be corrupted when the youngsters lead. Guy has one million followers. Comes with the biggest batil. And people are confused. Allah has said, we have our own issues that we have to be patient with. And then you see this situation with the ummah. People don't want to come to the durus. They want to remain ignorant. Oh Allah, that's the worst thing you can do to remain ignorant. You know, if you remain ignorant, you remain vulnerable. You're vulnerable. Oh, you who doesn't come to the classes, you're vulnerable. One day you're going to slip. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come to the durus. Protect yourself. Protect you. And then when your daughter and your son has a problem, oh, can you, can you help us? Ittaqillah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go and learn. Allah sent the kitab for what reason? Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Wallahi tamma. Wallahi sad. It's sad. We have to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by luzum manhaj as-salaf as-salih. When you know what is correct and what is not correct based upon ilm, based upon yaqeen, not based upon qeel wa qal. Not based upon what he said, what, he, what she said. And not delving into every single topic. Not every single topic needs to be spoken about. So we have to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the only way of success. That's the only way of success. And that's the only way of recapturing the lands that have been stolen from us. Because Allah Azza wa Jal, he says that he promises you. Wa'd. And the promise of Allah is true. Why? And then it's contingent on certain actions that you do. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us taqwa. Barakallahu feekum. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our sins. And to guide us all and to teach us. And to forgive us for our sins. Allah wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala nabiyya Muhammad wa aqeem wa sallam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. 
أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح وقرب زدني